And the plot thickens. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a six women knockout tag team match scheduled for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing team number one, Velvet Sky, Madison Rain, Lacey Von Eric. They are the beautiful people. Well, when the beautiful people have an agenda, somebody's going to pay. As TNA cameras documented last week, and of all places, catering. Oh, yeah, I mean, I gotta tell you, uh, all catering never looks so good here, but the beautiful people just attacking Taylor and Serena and making a mess of them. Nothing like seeing hot chicks, Russian dressing, some cream dressing to go with it. I can't tell you how many texts that Heavy I received. Cream. How many texts did you receive, Mike? And they, they all said the same thing, Taz. What was that? They said that, that situation with the beautiful people, Taylor Wilde, Serena, and catering. Yeah. Among the hottest things they've ever seen on Impact. Well, if you eat the food and stuff, and, well, anyway, I digress, but who isn't? <laughs> The mix of styles of the knockout division is about to take center stage. Six knockouts in the six-sided ring and the opening bell when we return to Impact. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't heard, tonight on Impact we will have the exclusive video footage that documents the partnership between Hulk Hogan and Dixie Carter and TNA. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan, the one and only, is part of TNA. In TNA, it's just enormous, titanic news. I mean, and the news has been everywhere you turn, Taz. Television, radio, internet, and as I watch the TNA knockouts in action, first thing that I think about, are the knockouts going to be affected uh, by this partnership between Hogan and uh, TNA? And as we said earlier in the show, we watch our cover here by Christy. As we said earlier, how will it affect the rest of the TNA roster, not just the knockouts? We don't know. I guess time will tell. It's just humongous news that Hulk Hogan's part of TNA. I mean, really, until his, his role is defined, we're going to be asking about the implications as it pertains to everyone. From announcers to referees to people in the front office to the competitors in this six-sided ring. Absolutely. I just can't wait because we haven't seen it. This announcement that we'll see here at Impact and uh, who's been pointing out. Watch out. Cover, cover. Our production crew here at TNA has been putting together this footage. We will have it here tonight on TNA. I, I, on Impact, I should say, and I can't wait to see it. Yes, we have the TNA camera crews in the Big Apple in New York City to document it as we see Amato. Oh, cut off just when she was going to go to the top, maybe for that moonsault. And Madison, Madison now, Madison on top trying to get the, the win. Ooh, and Amato close, no Siga. How lucky can the beautiful people be that premeditated attack and catering on Taylor Wilde and Sarita last week? And, well, fortunately for the beautiful people, Taylor Sarita on a tour as we see this cover. And two count only for Velvet Sky on Hamada. Taylor Wilde, Sarita, they're on tour. They're promoting TNA's invasion of the UK, which takes place in January 2010. You know, Mr. Professor, I could not help but notice on the back of the buttocks on the tights area of Velvet Sky, it says the word shy. And she's anything but shy, obviously, Velvet. But that drop kick. Yeah, and speaking of uh, Velvet, that says sky is in Velvet Sky, not shy. Oh, sky, shy, pie, whatever. I'm just looking at the surrounding area, you know what I'm saying? Close enough for Taz. <laughs> Used to be close enough for Jazz. Yeah. Now it's close enough well, for hey, Taz. There you go. What are you going to say? What am I going to say? It's a hell of a close up. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> As the tag is in to Lacey Von Eric and a little double team move. No! Wow! It's just the way that Lacey Von Eric and Velvet yeah. Sky. Talk about someone who is just cocky and conceited and perfect just, for the beautiful people, oh, in yeah, other words. I mean, and you have to admit, a perfect fit for the beautiful people in Lacey ooh. Von Eric. Oh, yeah, Lacey Von Eric. Look, look at how relentless Madison is here trying to get the win on her model. Yeah, no, Lacey Von Eric, very. Uh, I've been working here for like a month or so in the same company as Lacey. Lacey's never even said hello to me. She's just a very cocky young lady. I mean, she acts like a real, you know, Smohawk. Smohawk? 
Oh, Taz trying to curb your enthusiasm as Hamada connects with that dual drop kick, taking down both Madison and Velvet. And you can see ODB and Christy both want to get into this match ASAP. This might be the opportunity. I think Lacey might have got tagged in, I think. I guess not. Oh. Here comes the knockout champ on fire. ODB delivering to the beautiful oh. people. There goes Lacey Von Eric down to the floor. ODB and meanwhile, oh. big fall away slam for Velvet Sky, and then... Beautiful tip up, but the big bloom is on. She's ready to rock, baby! Oh, gets doubled over, does Madison with the boot. Sent for the ride, back first into the corner. Wait a minute, what's this? What the heck? Wait a minute, I know what they are. Oh, well, that's... Using him as a weapon. I don't... I... <laughs> Watch out! Oh, holy B. Now, wait a minute. Is that the Bronco Muncher, or is that the Carpet Buster? <laughs> Not sure which. Look out! Slam down ODB, looks for the corner, and after that slam, gonna tag in Christy Hemi. And Christy might be going for that patented fire crotch. That'd be the FFG. Wow, nobody home. Flying oh fire crotch guillotine. And let's see if Lacey well, Von Eric can take advantage Lacey, here. Lacey got a goozle here on the throat of oh! And just choke slams Christy straight down. Wow. Pin, two, and beautiful people winning. Wow, you know, you gotta realize too, uh, Christy Hemi has a surgically repaired neck. Lacey Von Eric, very big girl, and then chokes the. Oh, speaking of big girls. Not this again. Oh, no. Awesome Khan? In the oh. day, light of everything, sort of slipped my mind that we hadn't seen Awesome Kong for the past half hour or so, and here she comes. She's back yeah. again, and again, remember. She's out of control because oh, she's on Tara. Look at Tara. Want some revenge on, on, on Awesome Kong. And Tara's like one of the only knockouts that's not backing down from Awesome Kong. She's actually taking the fight to Awesome Kong. He's breaking down here. Security trying to get in between these two. And they oh. in. Nothing but dislike and hatred between these two knockouts. He's got four or five large men trying to stop Awesome Kong, and they can't. Finally. Finally, they separate these two. Oh, look, guys, I'm not, I'm not, hold back Awesome Kong. Then they can't. This thing got out of control real quick. It all started. Wait a minute. Here she goes again. Oh. Tara right back at her again. 